Hello and welcome to Capture. Let's talk about it. Under the digital organisation banner and the work I'm doing in that space, I see often a need to understand how to capture all of the many things that we've got going on in our lives, all of, the, all of those. And I suppose the biggest part of creating a successful capture system is actually the habit that you will develop, which is down to you, right? But what is important is to understand what it means and what it can look like for you. And I just thought I would show you how I do it. Now, this word David Allen uses in his Get Things Done, I'm not affiliated with him at all. It is trademarked, his his uh, whole situation there. So, um, but I absolutely love it. And you can find lots of uh, videos on YouTube about it and you can get more information that way. Um, but again, I thought that just with the context of digital organization, I would explain to you what I do in that space. Capture basically is the first step in David Allen's five-step system. Um, and I'm not going to go into Clarify, Organize, Reflect and Engage today. I'm not going to go into those, but I just put them there in grey just so that you know that it's part of a bigger picture. But what capture basically means is that you collect everything, right? And you also, um, to get this done successfully, you need to define the place where you will do this. So I thought I would explain to you my capture process. What David Allen suggested back in the day was to use a little, uh, one of those little notebooks, um, you know, with a little spiral bound at the top and you flip it over and you write in it like Columbo. You know that, I love Columbo, that detective on, <laughs> on detective show. Um, he used to have this fabulous little notebook. Every thought you get, everything you need to do, you need to get milk, you need to get bread, you need to create a dentist appointment, you need to go to, um, you know, meet a girlfriend for coffee, you need to, I need to make a new journal for my Etsy shop, I've got to get, finish my course that I'm creating. Like, that, when something comes up, you could equivalent it to a brain dump, okay? I love brain dumps. It's probably one of my favorite words because it gets everything out of your head onto paper, digitally or real paper. All right, so and that's the point I just want to say. You can have a digital notebook or you can have a paper notebook. I am I work in the digital organization space, so I'm going to be using the digital um, concept and we're going to work on that. All right, so my first suggestion for you to have is, let's go back to my files. You could have a notebook where you just open it up and you write all the things that you need to write in there. I've, I've been creating this capture um, notebook for to sell in my Etsy shop. But basically, I've got a 10-pack of notebooks that are all hyperlinked with indexes. You could just use that and you could just have one of them sitting here and you could call it capture and you could write things in there all day long. And then your habit, that thing I'm talking to you about, that, that important part, is here the habit at the end of the day is you sit down you get everything out of that notebook and you schedule it into the all the places right um and that is basically a great system a system i use but i have this other part of what i've created just myself that I do and um, I, I actually can't say that I've seen it anywhere but this is the habit that I've formed and I thought I would share it with you guys on every desktop that I have in all the places okay so I haven't got my iPad with me right now to show you but I'll show you my iPad I have a folder structure and a file structure and a capture system on my iPad here on my laptop this is my laptop I have on here a the same file system and folder system I say that because it's very confusing if you're going to change it between devices. But I keep my fold, folder system, my naming conventions, I keep everything the same between all my devices, my phone, my iPad, my other iPad, my Remarkable, my laptop, you know, if you had a desktop computer. All of my words are the same for the folders that I use. I do not change them around. Yes, 
like in Canva, for example, I might have a more dedicated folder structure in one particular area. And obviously that makes sense. But the logic remains and I carry the logic across all my devices. All right. So having said that, having got my folder structure set up the same across all my devices, here's the thing that I do. And I'm just going to use my YouTube. It's probably the easiest um, example to use. When I go into work and I go into content or the content I create, I've got my YouTube channel, right? Now, in here, this is what I'm talking about in terms of capture. This is my capture or collection box. You can use it interchangeably, just depends what word works for you. These are all the videos that I need to make, right? And I, what I do is when I've got an idea if it's for the video is quite short I've got a short videos um, document here and I've also got a viewers question document here right at the moment I've got it um, sorting on last opened just because I recorded all I recorded 11 videos this week and there was something wrong with the recording and so I <laughs> yeah I don't normally have it I normally have it done by I'll show you. I normally have it done by alphabetical and not Z to A. I normally have it done by A to Z. And so everything is actually in order for me, right? But at the moment, I'm just doing it by last modified or last opened, last modified, last opened, because I have to re-record the videos that, um, all the videos that I recorded. So don't worry about that. Um, but yes, uh, what was I saying? This is my collection box. This is my capture space. Right, I've got um, my quick videos down here, and then I've got my viewers' um, questions, and then I've got a, like notebooks for dedicated videos around dedicated topics that I'm doing. So, as you can see, I'm capturing in this space. When I come into YouTube, I can see I've, I've got all these videos that I'm working on, and this works for me. Okay, it might not work for you, but this 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 absolutely works for me. And then when I'm finished working on this, so I think I must have put it on last modified, not last. Um, yeah, I don't know where my capture video has gone. It's down here. Oh, I know why, because it's sorting in the. This is a new thing Remarkable did. They actually give you the ability to reverse the direction, which is awesome. All right, sorry, I was a little bit disorientated then. All right, so um, this is my capture space. Just recapping where I'm at. This is my collection box. I've, I know that I've got all these videos to make. And then what happens is, like this is the video I'm making right now. What I do is when I've done it, I um, move it. Now on your desktop app, you can drag and drop. But on the Remarkable, you can't drag and drop. Like, that's not going to go anywhere, right? If I, that's not going to go anywhere. But it's selected. I'm going to move it. I'm going to put it in uh, Videos Done. And I'm going to go Move Here. And I'm just going to open it just for the sake of time. So, as you can see, I use my desktop and my home folder for my capture and collection box, as well as... I have a notebook, a digital notebook. I use. I don't use paper anymore, which is one of the reasons why I love the Remarkable. Um, but I was using Good Notes on my iPad before the Remarkable, and I, I I use them both. This is a lot lighter. It's almost like an iPad Mini, uh, not not in its functionality, but in its size and weight. Um, anyway, I won't digress off into that. But my capture system is a digital notebook, and a desktop. Now, if you do know anything about the capture system, clarify and organize is when you hop over into working out what 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 each thing is for that you've captured and then organizing it into uh, like into your scheduler, um, the apps that you've got for scheduling and all of that sort of stuff. Again, not going into that today. But I just wanted to explain it's really in context of your filing and your folder structure, which I, I again, because of the space that I work in, um, I see so many, this is just a needed explanation, I think, just to give more information so that you can make some decisions around what you're going to do in that space. Uh, if you need more, inf more help with digital organisation, I've got a free Facebook group, I've got a paid support 
Facebook group at $7 a month. Links are below. And I've got a one-to-one -one training that I do, 90-minute session. Links are below as well. If you just need very specific help now, you don't want to sort through all the videos and, and uh, spend all the time on the internet searching, then the one-to-one -one training is the way to go. But yes, um, what, out here in capture, back in my files, just to summarize, this is my capture for my big picture. When I go into work, these are the four things that I'm sort of working on. I've got some stuff in my studio to do. I've got some stuff in my onboarding. I'm still working on this planner and I've got a brain dump bundle that I need to work on and hasn't made it yet into the content folder because it's here reminding me to get busy. Once I do do that, I will move it over into content. And then once I've done that, I'll probably move it into the Etsy shop as into the done folder. Um, so yeah, that's how I use my... Um, Let's just go back. That's how I use my desktop. And I do the same on my computer, in my Canva, on my iPad. I use my um, desktop in the same way. So when that's clear, I've actually got nothing that I'm working on, which probably never happens. But <laughs> it's neat, tidy, organized. I hope that helps. Any love on the channel is greatly appreciated.